Okay, basically auto count counting uh, is quite simple. If you look at the menu, right? Uh, they are split into, I would say about three sessions, uh, uh, three sessions. Uh, one is GLAIP, I consider as one session. GLAIP, right? Usually they are re, uh, direct link to accounting. That means uh, whatever you do inside all the transaction, right, is related to accounting. Even the report, uh, you often uh, hear customer asking, uh, where can I print statement? All right. When I first do uh, training <laughs> at customer place, the customer asked me, hey, where can I print statement? I don't know what is statement at the time. All right, I didn't know. Then I was telling them, oh, statement, yeah, you can go to GL. Under GL, you can find a statement, profit and loss statement. They say, no, 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 not this statement. They want the statement. I said, this is the statement. Right? <laughs> Here you got a lot of statement also. You got balance sheet statement. But you need to know the sometimes customer, uh, they say statements, it can be any or it can be any, but most likely, uh, most likely it's actually referring to customer statement or oh, they want to print out the customer statement so from here uh that means when we look at gl it's all about finance or financial that means you when you look at gl you can find like uh trial balance report profit and loss and balance sheet these three are very basic financial report very basic these three or you often, when you say about finance uh, report is under, under GL. But if we go to AR, right, it's everything that is related to uh, customer, all right? If you say uh, your customer, then those uh, transaction, the report is under AR. And when we say our, about our supplier, if our supplier is under AP, that's creditor, Oh, that's created and also the uh, AP transaction and also the report is all under AP. Okay, so I consider this as uh, one session. All the account transaction and reports are under GL AIP. Then when we come to the second session, I always go for like uh, stock item maintenance or uh, when we want to key, uh, create a physical stock or we can even create a non-physical stock right here. Not necessarily must be uh, touchable. Non-physical stock, example, uh, services charge, uh, service charge and what else? Uh, uh, maintenance and so on, right? Or sinking fund, your condominium, uh, if you are living in a condominium, you've got sinking fund and so on. Management fees and so on. All these are non-stock items. We can also create under the stock item maintenance. Okay, then we got sales. Sales, of course, uh, is really again to customer, right? So we are selling uh, uh, items to our customer. So it's under sales. Purchase, purchase is buying from our supplier. All right, buy, when we buy from a supplier, uh, when we got item or stock, we want to increase our stock quantity that's under purchase. So basically, uh, this is the second session I'll consider. Or if we look into look at the menu, right? This is the second session: stock sales purchase. And the third session, where is the third session? It's not. Uh, it's not say it's less important. It's very important. So it, it, in fact, if you say hey, something something I want to check, right, or something I want to add, most of the time where you go, general maintenance, uh huh? General maintenance, you see a lot of maintenance here. That include what? Include who can log into auto count. All right, who can access auto count? Who can access what function? Uh, all this we call it access right maintenance, access right control. So access, access right control is also under general maintenance. Other than that, we can find uh, a lot of maintenance here. We go. We won't go to all, but we will go to those some that is quite frequent mentioned. For example, document numbering format. I believe most of the time we will encounter this. All right, so all this we will look into it. Uh, third session, not just general maintenance. Sometimes we also talk about tools. 
tools is also important. So these two, I will consider them very important. All right. So under tools, right, uh, when we start a new account book, right, we want to know this account book, the fiscal, the period is set already or not. That's underway. Under tools, manage fiscal year. Okay, this is very important. What can we do inside this uh, managed fiscal year? All right. First of all, we check the tick is on which period. <coughs> uh, so this tick right is selected the fiscal year period is 2022 and then the date starting is from January. Uh, that's when we create the new account book. At that time, right, when we create a new account book, we say our start date is from first, our period is from the 1st of January, then it will start from 1st of January until uh, you set 12 months. Uh, so it's until uh, December. But, uh, okay. But let's say uh, customers say, I want to maintain some of the opening transaction, opening, uh, not, transact not, not current year, last year transaction, then what do I do? I have to add in the previous fiscal year. All right, the previous fiscal year depends. Customer one for how long? If customer period, uh, customer wants the transaction for uh, <coughs> uh, previous year right, is uh, from let's say two or two zero or two or two zero, then I actually can add in the previous year of two or two one. And then again, I highlight here and add again previous year of 2020. So that's uh, when we create two uh, previous year. But you notice it's not thing anymore. Huh? So the active or the current is still for from this month. Okay, later I'll tell you what's the difference when you have the tick at this period. Okay, the next is we want to increase its uh, fiscal year when we need to uh when we come to 2023 means next year huh user cannot key in transaction anymore all right if you you see uh, if i try to create a transaction any transaction uh, we we'll see whether we can create a 2023 uh, transaction Okay. okay, if I save right the year 2023, you prompt this message. Oh, this message you will say uh, the transaction period is, is only for until uh, 2022, uh, two I mean, 2020 until 2022. Two, huh? So that means 2023 is not in the list. Usually you will come to you will encounter this when you reach end of the year, because until like December around that right, customer may already start uh, want to start keying two or two three uh, uh ordering right. So the you if you see this message right means you have to go to manage fiscal year here to add one more year right. That's the two or two three. Okay, so this is the. First function inside the managed fiscal year, which we, we can actually use it to control the transaction date. Okay. So if the transaction date is doesn't fall within the first in, in this list, right, then the transaction transaction cannot enter. Right? There's another another way of locking. Lock that period or the mana. Uh, to prevent anyone accidentally change the record in the system or the transaction in the system. How do we do that? You can find the manage period lock here. Okay. So manage period lock, right, is used for, if I click this, right, you see, I highlighted 2022, so I can find the 2022 January, February, March, and so on. And now it's uh, August, right? So if let's say I already finalized my, this usually is controlled by the account department now. If the account department already finalized the January 2022 and February so on, 
they want to prevent anyone from accidentally change the record so they can actually tick so once they tick right then that period of time right user will not be able to change the record anymore so you see right now i really tick from january until june later uh, if you accidentally uh, change or anything uh, within this time right then the system will prompt uh, warning or error huh? it will prompt error okay <clears throat> Okay, so the one thing before user keying anything inside, you must make sure the date here is correct. Because one user keying transaction or even opening balance, later I'll show what is opening balance. Then if you want to come back to change the period, right, it's very difficult. Or some if some some scenario you can't even change it. All right the only way is to create a new account book or copy your data over uh, some people do export import all right it's very troublesome so make sure you have it correct okay what is the actual data start date actually data study is uh okay let's say i got a period of time um now it's august maybe customers say i'm not going to key all the transaction from january 2022 until uh, maybe June now, uh, until June 2022. But customers say, okay, I, I can key the full complete transaction from 2022 until end of the year. End of the, the year, maybe uh, let's say it's uh, December 2022. Uh, uh, the accounting period, okay, the accounting period of is still from January 2022 until December 2022. But this period of time, customer maybe was using another system. And uh, so customer don't want to key all these transactions already because they, are they already finalized all their report and everything. So customer say, uh, don't, uh, not, not entering the full transaction. Okay, but for July until December, okay, customers say, okay, uh, full transactions are uh, entered, huh? Okay, so in that case, right, how do I change this setting inside the fiscal year? How do I change the setting? Okay. I show you now. I know transaction. There's no opening balance. Now oh, there's no opening balance. So how I still can change, but how do I change? Okay, let me remove all this first. Huh? let me remove because if I don't remove, right, I won't be able to change the the current year. I right, remove first, but don't worry. When I remove the others, right, it only affect my financial report. It won't delete my transaction. Even if I got transaction, right? It won't delete it. Okay, but now I have to careful. Okay, so now my accounting period is from January until December, but I want to start entering my transaction from July. Okay, from July. So what do I do is I change the actual start date to july and it always must start from the first day of the month some users say oh they want to start from <coughs> 15 oh i don't think you can let me see i don't think you can I change uh. no you cannot you must always start from the first day of the month uh. okay okay so once i change to the actual data study means my transaction complete transaction start date from july then I change. Okay, that's all. You already change. Uh, but but then if you go, uh, let's say I add the uh, previous year again, you see it, it's still the same. Uh, everything's still the same except the July. So this is the third thing you can do uh, to decide the actual start date of your, your transaction start date. Okay, uh, 
once I change this, right? Actual data study. If you go back to your transaction, if you try to key in a uh, June transaction inside the cash book entry, you see, yeah? If I key in the June transaction, see what happened, huh? Okay, save. Now, now, now you say it cannot because your actual start date is not, <clears throat> you have changed your actual start date to July. So that's how it happened. All right. So you, any questions? Any questions? No. Okay. Or you don't know what's going on. <laughs> Anyone don't know what's going on? <laughs> Why we need this uh, period control? Why do we need the period control here? Ah. Okay, we need it because uh, to safeguard our transaction is which is very sensitive. You know? Sometimes you uh, usually this just I mentioned something about usually this is controlled by the account department. So they want to make sure they can use this small dialog box, right? To control, make sure everyone is keying the correct date. Some system, you know, computer date may be different, especially if your desktop, right? You, you know, our clock, there's a, a battery. If that battery ran off, right? Your computer date will go back to history 1753 or something like that. Then when they keying transition, it happens. They keying, if you don't have this control, right? Then all the transition went into 1753. Uh, it happens you know, uh, long ago that time at that time when people don't uh, don't uh, not all computers have online yet at that time now this way all computer has online you you can actually your your computer wherever you start right you actually sync from the time server you know uh, so you won't run out of your sync your time but uh so now i guess it's not a big issue huh? but if you're not online right then <laughs> Your, your time will your out of sync from uh from from others you see so this is to protect uh, to protect all these uh invalid transaction went into the system okay so other uh, uh we only need it when we need so for now i won't explain everything here uh, but this the period law and the and the uh the the what you call the financial fiscal setting is very important here okay